Hello sleepers, this audio contains subject that may uh, bother some users and there will also be swearing. I do not recommend the video if you are faint of heart. Please enjoy. Hey master, welcome back. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. I know you hate it when I call you that, but just give me some ideas for some video I could make. I sure write it down. About that, I had absolutely no idea we could work making those sort of videos. ASMR is great and the community is so kind and accepting. It was doubtful at first I could get a viewer base, but I think my viewers are curious about me since uh, I am very different and then they saw that I actually make good content, so they came back to watch more of my streams and video. You should let me stream someday. Seriously, it's fun to interact with them, and I get enough money to get by without putting a strain on your tight budget. Hmm. For once, my ugliness is a benefit. Thanks, but I'll never be normal. I may look good with what is all I have left of me, but I was always wish I, I was whole. I don't know if you understand, but it's, it's just me wanting to be normal since I'll always be ugly in my eyes. Oh, you got a letter from the uh, Vampire Council. I did not bother to open it since it's yours and I will probably be unable to read it anyway. You may be teaching me, but I know they use fancy word all the time to look smart. You really want me to try reading it? I mean, it's, it's your letter after all. Alright, if you insist. Dear Fled Fledgling Vampire, this letter is to notify you the perpetrator of the crime of indiscriminately turning you into a vampire has been apprehended and dealt with in a timely manner. We will send a repres representative in the coming weeks to evaluate your standing and discuss your responsibilities toward the vampire community the council <sighs> that wasn't easy hey don't worry about it the stuff you have to do is basically not turn anyone to a vampire without their permission and not to reveal that the vampire exists nothing more to it yeah, I know a lot of vampires because I was bought by a few of them. Some of them even were in the council. It probably shook them to see me here settle with one of their home. Well, you're quite different. You aren't one of them in my heart. They accepted me and treated me with dignity, even if I treated you like shit at first. I know, I... I don't anymore. Did not take too long either, and you improve a bit in the vampire way. Maybe it will give you a higher title than fledgling when they meet you. It's kind of weird that a human who is an ex-slave been teaching you how to become a good vampire. I've seen a few of them get trained. Everything I teach you was something that was not meant for me. I don't know how long I've been exchanged and traded and stuff. I know I was around seven when my parents got rid of me, then my professional nurse sold me back when I was sixteen or eighteen probably. I think I was a cattle for five years maybe. Oh no, no I don't mind talking about it, don't worry. I was kept in the dark without any real information on the outside world and where I grew up there was no season. It was always summer. Oh, no, I'm not from around here. I mean, 
My skin is burned, but you can see that I'm not Caucasian. Wait, wh why are we talking about all of this? Oh, yeah, yeah, no idea how old I am. Uh, well, I, I have no idea how old I am, or how long I was a slave, or how long I was a Roman vampire. You can basically give me any age you want. No, I don't know my birthday either. Well, we're poor, so doesn't have a very big event and at that age you aren't really sure when it is if if you really want to celebrate my birthday you can choose whenever really the day you bought me hmm, that sounds nice actually let me be cheesy for a bit but I can hate what I want I'm learning I'm making friends I'm free to do whatever. Since you came into my life, I really feel like I got born again. A new beginning, so that date is fitting. Let's go with that. Uh, what are you doing? Are you trying to take my blood or something? You're a bit early for that, but if you're already thirsty, a hug? Uh, please... No, I... I really don't want to have a sexual relationship with you. I'm just... No... Wait... There's no... Double meaning or... I don't tell with this eye? I... I never had a real hug before. I mean, I have a comfort and... I didn't show of affection. I'm... I'm so happy. Sorry, I've... I've been used so much that... When people get too kind with me, I... Expect them to use me, but you... You, you really care. Yes, I like this song. I love it, Ethan. I feel safe and warm. Let me hold you a bit longer too. I hope you also like this. You went through a lot too. You were normal. Living a normal life. With normal dreams and now. You lost all of this. You will have to slowly move away from your friend and family to keep them safe. Not everyone can learn about vampires. You need to be controlled like me. Since you stop aging, you will have to cut ties with them someday. I'm... I'm sorry. I thought you knew. You... at least got me for the moment. I'll stay with you as a friend until I die. I will die. I am. I'm a human and I cannot become a vampire either. Humans are not immortal, my friend. But for as long as I live, I'll be by your side. Yes, the life of a vampire is a lonely one. Maybe you will make a vampire friend or. Get a troll of your own someday. I don't know if I will live long enough for you to get enough experience to make me a troll. You will need to be able to feed yourself, hypnotize human, get recognized as a decent vampire by the council, and create a bond with a troll. I told you before, but not every vampire should and will have a troll under them. I really wish I could do more, but that's all I can. I am but an ex-slave and a human. I have nothing special except your friendship. Of course it is special for me. I lived for around 25 years and I never had a friend. I never got a real hug. I was never treated as someone. 
So, you are very special to me. Thank you so much. Yes, I will do everything I can do to support and help you get your life as stable and, and enjoyable as possible. Not the idea to change you, put your life upside down, but I will be the idiot to flit it back once again. Don't mention it. Come here. I want to hug you more. What? <coughs> no, of course, I'm not doing that for myself. This hug is a hundred percent for you. Yeah, okay, I'll admit. It's for the both of us. You both need it, my friend. Thank you for listening up to the end. I hope you enjoyed this audio and that you had fun with it. I am giving you some extra time to pause the video or close the page in case YouTube decides to put an ad without my knowledge. Have a good evening.